Hello everyone, welcome to Ikeda platform and this is Ravin Jangir here, your electrical faculty and in this video I'm going to talk about the IPC. That is a, one of the schemes which I have already discussed about the firing control schemes. <music> Firing angle control. So that is actually related with the and this is the first one. Actually, it is not used, but so we have to study uh, because it is actually replaced by your uh, EPC schemes. Okay, now we will talk about the IPC. So if I talk about the this is the first one. So IPC that is the individual phase control. So the name is suggesting so every time we have the wall, the people controlling the each and every phase. Okay, so now. So let's start with the first point that is saying that the firing instant is determined individually for each wall. So we are using the individual phase control. Okay, and there is a phase position for of each control pulses are determined by the separately for each wall and related to the commutation voltage, related to the commutation voltage, and that is actually depending on the zero crossing. What is the commutation voltage? Here I will represent the VC by the VC. Every time I will represent the VC, then it is going to be uh, your uh, commutation voltage. Okay. So let's uh, start with some of the points which are again related with this. So if I talk about this scheme, this scheme was actually used in the earlier HVDC project. Earlier HVDC project, so we were generally using the IPC. At that time, we have only invented this. And then because of this uh, disadvantages, we have uh, gone for EPC schemes. Okay, here actually it is having the individual phase, individual controlling of the phase for the alpha. Now, the main feature, if I talk about the main feature of uh, this IPC, it is a firing the pulse, one second, firing the pulse generation of each phase in the independent of each other. These are not dependent on each other. If we are uh, firing one of the thyristors, let us suppose uh, one of the thyristors is fire, fired at the 10 degree. One of the thyristors, let us say it is fired at the 10 degree. Then the next will be uh, next will be fired at 10 plus 60 because every time we will have the 60 degree 60 degree interval for firing another thyristor. In this way, they are, these are going to be fired but they are not actually depending on each other they are independent of each other and firing the pulses are rigidly synchronized with the commutation voltage and they are actually synchronized with the commutation voltage or vc is equal to cos alpha vm we will have the relation like that so uh, this can be done by the two of the main points uh, two of the methods the first is the constant alpha control and inverse cosine these, these, these are two the important ones that's why i have used only the two one Otherwise, controlling schemes related with the individual phase control. So, but we are discussing only the two. That is, the one is the constant alpha control, and another is the inverse cosine control. So, one is your one second. One is your constant alpha control, and another is the inverse uh, inverse cosine control. Okay. Now, so if I talk about the constant alpha control, what is the constant alpha control? It is actually based on the zero crossing of a particular commutation voltage when the alpha is equal to zero. So I can say because uh, it is actually kind of the oscillator we are giving the pulses and it is uh, kind of the sine and cosine waves we can see there. The, at the instant of zero crossing because it is a converter control and uh, every time we have the converter so it is actually going to transform your AC to DC then DC to AC likewise. So we are we will have if you are controlling at the rectify side then we will have the zero crossing because the sine and cosine are going to be cross at the zero every time and after the one cycle and so in one cycle they are crossing uh, three times okay so instant of I can say so instant of zero crossing instant of zero crossing a particular commutation voltage is alpha is equal to zero okay so next point. Delays are produced by the individual delay circuit. So actually it is uh, independent of each other. So I can say the delay is whatever the delay is produced by the alpha control, constant alpha control is uh, so total delay, they will add up with the delay. So if one has a uh, delay of alpha, you can say alpha of 10 degree, then uh, then this, then 
if i total the if i talk about the total delay then total delay will be summation of the individual delays by the each and every thyristors so now i will use this block diagram it is actually saying this is the three phase uh, supply and uh, this is the uh, this is supply to the zero crossing detector it will detect that there is a zero crossing happening because why when the zero crossing may this is the kind of the zero crossing this is zero crossing this is zero crossing okay so i can say the zero crossing detector so that it will detect the zero crossing of the your uh, oscillating waves now so there will be a variable delay but we will have the vc that is the commutation voltage so variable delay variable delay there will be the variable delay and then it will be fired as a gate pulse so likewise it is going to be firing so well, this is a firing control scheme so ultimately we will have the gate pulses okay now we will talk about the next one the second method is uh, kind of the inverse cosine control second method is inverse cosine control why we have taken the cosine not the sine because if you have studied about uh, the bridge converter then at that time i have many times i have used the vd is equal to vd not cos alpha that cos alpha is actually used here for determining your uh, controlling purposes so inverse co cosine control then each phase is uh, i can say that each phase is shifted by the 90 degree so it will shift by the 90 degree how much it will shift it will shift by the 90 degree and added separately so they are separately because the we are operating each we, we are operating individual thyristors so it will be added separately so likewise this so added separately now if i talk about the second point if i talk about the second point then it is saying zero crossing of zero crossing of the sum of the two voltages initiates the firing pulse for the particular valve considered that is shown in this diagram so this is the firing okay it is kind of the firing so and it will repeat it will repeat after two pi so it is going to be repeated by two pi okay guys so because yes yeah, so because each thyristor is having the operation of the two pi okay so it will be the next pulse for the you can say the uh, one of any thyristor let us suppose we have taken the thyristor number three so it will have the eba kind of so for firing that firing that it will be again fired by the two pi so we are actually the zero crossing of the sum of the two voltages initiates the firing now delay angle alpha delay angle alpha proportional to the inverse cosine of the delay angle alpha is proportional to the cosine of the vc inverse cosine of the vc because we uh, we can use because the vc is equal to vm cos alpha okay so i can say the alpha is equal to cos inverse vc by vm likewise so there is a relation that's why we have used the inverse cosine control there are the many other methods for uh, the ipc so but we are uh, you, but we are studying only the particular ones which are generally and most probable use of that so delay angle alpha the proportional to uh, proportional to the inverse cosine of vc so you will say the what are the advantages of that the uh, advantage of that is advantage of that is the average vc voltage across the bridge varies linearly with vc so it will vary the linearly with the vc it will linearly with the vc and ultimately it will maintain the phase shift by 90 degree so this is uh, actually the uh, connection schemes related with and there will be the vc plus minus and there will be again the zero crossing detector and to the wall gate ultimately for the firing of the wall so i hope up to this you have understood so tata bye bye and thank you